Hello friends, welcome to the channel. You know these days we are doing the question paper, paper 1 of shift 1 conducted on 13th October for UGC net aspirants. And today's topic is people development and environment. This is part 8 of the video. 7 parts and 35 questions we have already covered. These are the question IDs that we will pick today for today's video. The first question Question ID 10275 identify the correct sequence of average noise level in increasing order of the magnitude from different sources. So, first of all, the conversational speech should come here. If you look at this, and you can also see that the highest noise will be here. The highest noise will be here. Aircraft noise will be here. I think the highest noise will be here during takeoff. So, this is an option that will start with B and the end will be deeper, which is option number. Three here. This will be your right answer. Next question given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion, another is labeled as reason. Energy produced from biomass is considered carbon neutral. Biomass does not add CO2, that is carbon, to the atmosphere. Carbon neutrality means having a balance between emitting carbon and absorbing carbon from the atmosphere in carbon sinks. Biomass is organic, meaning it is made of material that comes from living organisms such as plants and animals. So option 1 here is actually the right one. Both A and R are correct and R is the right explanation of A. Next question, what is the correct order of global warming potential GWP of following atmospheric chemical species? First of all, here will be carbon dioxide, then it will be methane, then it will be nitrous oxide, and then it will be rest of the gases, chlorofluorocarbon. So option 2 here is the right answer, C, B, D, A. Carbon dioxide, methane nitrous oxide and chlorofluorocarbon CFC which is found in our refrigerators and ACs as well. Next question, classical smog is formed when oxides of nitrogen combine with particulate matter especially in summer season. Classical smog reduces atmospheric visibility to a great extent. अगर आप बहुत ज़्यादा scientifically इस आंसर को नहीं जानते तब भी इसका आंसर दे सकते हैं। Fog आप देखते हैं, it is not in summer season, it is in winter season, so this becomes wrong। और smog जो होता है, वो vision को तो impact कर ही देता है, so this will be right। So option four is right here। Classical smog occurs in cool, humid climate. It is a mixture of smog, fog, sulfur dioxide, many other gases and chemically it is a reducing mixture in nature. Classical smog is the smog that is dominant during the winter season, not in summer. Classical fog contains oxides of sulfur and nitrogen and has reducing properties as I told and smog is air pollution, air pollution that reduces visibility. The term smog was first used in 1900 to describe the mixture of smog and fog. Smoke and fog. So smog or fog ko mila kar ye term bana tha smog 1900 mein, jo ki visibility ko decrease karta hai. Option 4 is the right answer. We have reached to the question ID 10279, source of arsenic pollution. In the underground water is the correct answer is deep underground formations option 2 here is the right answer so we have reached to the end of part 8 as well after covering it we have covered in total 40 questions on the 10 questions are left that uh, those 10 questions we will cover in rest of the two videos which will also be published shortly